Okay, so in this video we're going to take a quick look at, once again, the lists and the flow that we've created. And then in the next one we'll uh, look at how we can connect the uh, Flick physical buttons to Flicks on the app on the iPhone. And then we'll do a, a live demo after that. So um, here once again is the list. This is the list where all the uh, single clicks and the double clicks will be recorded and this is where all of them are going to the list items will be available here in this list we also have the secondary list um, and over here for this example we are going to only use the black the green and the white and these are the ID numbers and the technicians or the um, engineers uh, which are tied to each of these uh, buttons we also have the flow um, the white flow the one for the white one that's the one that I demoed on uh, but for the sake of this example I went ahead and created one for the black as well so technically we'll have three um, buttons we'll have the the white um, black and also the green and for each button we have two flows one is when the technician is arriving and one is when the technician is departing so once again this is just an overview of the lists and the, um, the flows for each button uh, and now let's go ahead and uh, connect or tie the buttons to the flows and then we'll go ahead and do a live demo. So in this final video we're going to look at first connecting or integrating Flick with the uh, flows that we've already built, um, especially the Flick physical buttons and then we'll go through the entire demo um, of the solution that we've built. So first I'm going to go to Flick and um, we already have the green button uh, or the green Flick button that we had built um, and as you go over here you see that they already have their respective flows uh, connected to the click and the double click and now we're going to do the same thing for the my black Flick button. So I'll click on um, the click. First thing I do is search for flow um, and I'll add it. Now what I've done is for the click, um, for the white button, the single click actually integrates um, the Flick app with that first flow that we created for the black button and that's when the technician actually arrives at the location. For the double click I'm going to do the exact same thing but over here I am going to do it for the double click which in this and in flow we are uh, integrating with the flow where the technician actually departs from the location. So let me go and finish that up with the white button as well. Um, same thing, click on flow, add, and now for the double click when the engineer or the technician is going to depart. And there we go, we had successfully gone ahead and integrated the flick physical buttons with the uh, flows we have already built. So now let's go ahead and do some testing. So what I have over here is the green button because that's the first test we'll do and in the green button I'm going to go ahead and physically click on the button but I'll keep on the, on the screen next, next um, right next to you you'll see that uh, the button actually will click over there. So I've gone ahead and click on this once and you see that the my green uh, flick went ahead and got clicked once over there. So let's now go to SharePoint and for that I'm going to use the SharePoint mobile app. Um, let me refresh and there you go you see that the new item has arrived this is the green uh, green flick button where uh, the technician as I assigned is Joseph Matthews and when we click over there you can see that this is for the status which has arrived and all the information such as the latitude, longitude, conditions and everything is all provided over here so let's now go back and do it for when the technician is going to depart from the location and as you can see, I'm going to double click on that button. So that's a double click, go back to SharePoint. And now you see that the second item is, um, is appeared, and this is for the Joseph Matthews, which has got the double click, and the status is departed, and all the other information is provided. Um, let's also go and take a look at the emails that have arrived.
So as you can see, I've got both the emails. The top one shows that when Joseph, uh, the bottom one shows when Joseph arrived at the location, and it has all of this information over here. Um, the one on the top is when Joseph departed from the location, and also has all the information over there, uh, which the send it's getting sent to either the manager or or whoever else it would be. Um, so let's continue with the testing, and what I want to do now is go back to the flick button over here and this time we'll do it on the um, let's do it on the white button so now I'm going to click on the white button once and that signifies the technician arriving at the location so let's quickly jump over to the SharePoint list filter that and now you can see that the next technician which is Michael his list item has appeared the click type is a, is a single click and this is for the status that's arrived. All the look, all the information shows up over here. The next one, let's go back again to Flick. Let's do a double click this time. You just saw that it's a double click. Go back to SharePoint, refresh, and there you go. Michael is now uh, has the uh, click as a double click which means the status is departing and here's all the information over here now if we jump back to our emails you can see that there'll be two more emails that's arrived and you'll see the technician Michael uh, first has arrived at the location and then second one has departed from the location so this in a nutshell is basically how uh, we've successfully integrated Flick with our three physical buttons over here, this is the example that we had. That flick will kick off the flows that we have, and then the flows will actually go ahead and add the item to our SharePoint list. And in this case, we've got um, four different items, one for each of the engineer. And then based on the information which is over here, the information gets emailed directly to the manager or the supervisor. So I hope through this uh, uh, blog, you've actually seen how such a tight uh, and seamless integration can be done between a physical button flick with Flow, with SharePoint, and you can also do it with the uh, Office 365 Outlook. Thank you.